fish check. Had a heron about. Yeah, still got two biggish ones. Not as clear in there today. This is very really light. Man, it's still running. It's alright to me. Massive, but running. Alright, we have loads of tomatoes. Must be going on 50 in there. I don't care as long as they all grow. Broccoli. Distinct yellow into some of the leaves. Some are perfectly green now, so perfectly green. Not overly worried again. It is what it is. Once I run out of nitrates, they'll stop growing. It's a simple rule, isn't it? Yeah. Peas are coming up. Some there. Nice biggish one there, popping up. Some there. Oh, finger. Little one there. Where there, I think. Uh, oh, tiny one there. Still no cucumbers. Still no basil. Oh, oh, I lied. The world's smallest basil plant down there. Two leaves about half a millimetre across. And there, and there. Okay, I lied. The basil is coming up. It's just micro basil. Strawberries. Strawberry. Haven't done a lot in the last two days, three days, since Tuesday. Two days. Yeah, two days. Two and a half. Tend to record in the morning. Carrots are carroted, much better than the other carroted now. Potato is potato in. I had to check there. That potato is not potato in. It's unpotato in. Uh, it's going to be chipping when I get my chance. What we're going here, we've got beetroot, beetroot down there. And there, and there, and there, and there, and there. And there, and there, and there. Yeah. What grows, grows. Right, what we've been doing. What we've been doing. We've been not cleaning this mess up. We haven't turned any of them into fish fingers or fish cakes yet. Although I always consider it. It's a bit murky today, don't know why. Dunno. I may have to check the pump. I'm not doing that today though, don't feel in the mood. I had a heavy day yesterday. Got prison door? No, not really. <laughs> right, many moons ago, had a server cabin out. Had servers in it. Yeah. When servers decided, or I decided, didn't want servers, yeah, turned it on its side, it became a CNC table. Yeah, decided now don't want CNC table in there anymore so all the doors came out here if anybody knows server cabinets you only get two sides a front with a window obviously to see all the pretty lights but you don't normally get a bike because of all the cables so what we decided because it's like can't throw that away I paid a fortune for it. Yeah, it was given to me. Yeah, so this is a server cabinet without its sides, obviously. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all this metal work out. We're going to take the top off, which is already unscrewed. We're going to split the base off and we're going to create two frames. One, two. And we have... Some frames which just happen to be as you can see there roughly the same length so we're going to put one at the bottom one of these doors and one at the top <laughs> did you even see that door, door. yeah 
One at the top. One at the bottom, definitely. One at the top, maybe. Maybe a couple of wrecks in between. And we're going to turn it into sort of a backy shower come cold frame. Yeah, running off a big bucket of water, I think. And that way it can just sort of tootle along, self-watering the plants for me as I start them off. So that I can start them earlier to plant them out to get my flowers. Flowers? Do I want flowers? I don't know. I don't do many flowers, has anybody noticed? Perhaps I should do my flowers. Let's go back to watching the fish, it's much more enjoyable than thinking. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing. Still haven't decided what to do with that settling tank. Do have a washing machine drum, could build a drum filter and fit that to it. But I'd still have the same problem. Yeah, still thinking about it. Yeah, gonna have to think. I mean, I would like to pump in and pump out. Yeah, I could. Ooh, we could think about that while we're here. We could go for go for it's all right i'm letting you watch the fish while i walk not as, as many down here we could use the old outpipes to have it set up as a gravity fill from there still only come to that height mind you obviously won't come higher than the water but we could then use a pump to pump to these, yeah, but that means putting another pump on. Yeah. Whereas at the moment I'm just stealing part of the 18,000 litres. Go away, wasp. It's like a yellow jacket, but not with as much punch. If anybody wants to know what a wasp is. Especially those Americans out there that don't seem to have nice animals. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, all of this, the whole system is gravity fed from this tank. And this tank is obviously pumped to by my big pump. So we gravity feed through these lines all the way round. They overflow, bottom pipe, doo -doo, bottom pipe runs out. Yeah, and because these are higher than the side of the pond, yeah, it's still under gravity when, even though I took it to the floor, anybody that knows fluid dynamics knows you always get a level with water, so it runs along here, the pipe, all the way down the side, and then pops up and over the side of the pond. Yeah just the nature of water it'll always go for the lowest point yeah so yeah so it's technically a gravity feed all the way from when I pumped it up there yeah what I would love to do is a pump system but I think I'd get too much muck in it I mean there's a hundred quite large fish in here now even the babies are getting biggish. Wish I knew what was mucking that water up there. Me, I'll find out. Proper frogs or something, no my luck. Dunno. Anyway. What we're going to do is we're still playing with ideas on what to do with that settling tank. See I don't know. See, if I did gravity feed or siphon across the two tanks just there, yeah, you're going to end up with every baby fish in there. Then you're going to end up pumping the buggers to the system without filtering them, which I don't want. Because they eat all your roots and your plants die. Found that one out last year, didn't we? So, don't know yet. Fish are a bit skitterish. 
to end and see if they come up from it. Some have been in the pond, is that what's mucked it up? Out down there, nothing in that corner. No. Out there. Big fat one there. Good God, is that fat. We're looking for dead fishes, by the way. Something scared them. As I said, we did have the heron, but he didn't get anything, so... Something's upset him. Can't see a lot here. Get rid of too much reflection at this end. Can't see nothing. You're not getting a very good image, are you? No. <clears throat> Everything seems to be tickety boo to be honest. Pump looks all right. Well, I know the pump's running, otherwise all the aquaponic stuff. Uh, don't know. Anyway, still looking for ideas. Ah, by the way, still running. Can you see the water rate coming out of it? Yeah, still ticking along just there, look. I took it out the other day and just washed it off and that took me five minutes. It's still full of algae though. It's the only problem with it, not having gravel in. Oh, I've got an algae farm. But again, at the end of the day, it does pull nitrates and nitrites out of the system. Just like any other plant. So, it does a job when I haven't got gravel in there. See, that's the stupidity of the system. In a natural environment, when there's too many fish, you get algae, it gets horribly green. The fish don't give a monkey's koi do, but the goldfish wouldn't. Yeah, and everything tootles along and changes eventually. Can't figure out what's wrong with the fish. Might be a storm coming, it is cloudy up there, horribly grey. Not a lot of sunshine today. Oh, wobbly camera. Not a lot better in that hand, is it? I think you've got the opposite pointer now. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I don't know what's going off there. Not leaking. It's gone down two inches with evaporation, which I'm not surprised. We had some really nice days or so. Anyway, open to ideas. Should I make a giant self-feeding, self-watering starter bed? Or just a greenhouse type thing? Should I lift up the settling tank and just turn it into a stupidly high aquaponics bed? Should I grow bananas in the pond? No, can't do that. They don't like water that much. Actually, I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not even going to try though, it's England. You can't grow bananas here. People have tried, unless you've got a big greenhouse, it ain't happening. Right, later.